Hey guys, today's video is for those of you who drink these cool Starbucks Frappuccino drinks. And I guess for maybe those of you who don't and see this video and like what you see and decide to try it. It is going to make you think twice about throwing these nifty jars away because I am about to show you some really cool ideas of what you can use these for. So today's video is going to be a gift idea. I'm gonna break these ideas up into segments, different videos, because I don't want this video to go on and on and on and lose your attention. So I'll do it in separate videos. So we'll call this video part one of the Starbucks jars. And this idea makes such a cute gift idea. This idea would be good for Mother's Day, for birthdays, and it would even be good for that new mom who just had a baby that you wanna maybe give her a pamper day. It is, I made two jars, one being a bath scrub and the other one a bath salt. And this one is homemade from a regular body wash that I actually made a scrub out of. And then this one is just a really good smelling bath salt that I put into the jar to make as a spa day gift idea. And it's a really good idea if you wanna give these to maybe a new mom. Give it to her and say, this is for you to have an hour or two to yourself and I will come and I will watch your new baby and you can have an hour in the bath with no interruptions. And I can guarantee you that any new mom is going to appreciate that more than anything because we all know how hard it is just to get a shower in when you have a newborn. So nonetheless, to get to sit in a hot bath and soak and relax is probably going to be heaven. Anyway, so these are my homemade ones and I'm gonna show you how to make them today. So let's get started doing that. I'm gonna zoom in and show you, I guess, first off how I make my bath salt or my bath scrub. And then we'll just go from there into filling the jars and how I embellish the jars. All right, everybody, let's get started with what we're gonna need for this project. But first things first, this little munchkin is my four-year-old Allison. Hi. And, aw, thank you, baby. And she is quite the little crafter in training, and she is a super good helper, so she is going to be helping me from time to time here in the videos. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Yeah. Okay, first thing that we're gonna need is two, uh, two empty Starbucks Frappuccino jars. These ones are the 13 ounce ones. You can use the smaller ones. I just happen to have the two larger ones uh, in matching sizes. If you have the smaller ones and you want to use those, perfect. Use those too. Second, you're going to need some kind of a table salt or sugar or if you prefer sea salt, you can use that. I don't personally like the sea salt. I find it too coarse. Um, sugar isn't my favorite either. I just like regular old sea salt or table salt. Works perfect to me. And I do honestly uh, make this body scrub quite often because I really like using it in the shower. Next, you're gonna need a body wash. Today's body wash is just the BO5 Creamy Mango and Hibiscus body wash. This actually smells really stinking good and it's on the inexpensive side. I'm making this because it smells really good, it smells young, and my daughter has a good friend and it's her birthday this weekend, so we decided that we would make her gift on the YouTube video this time. And let's see what else do we need. Um, Calgon has a really, really, really good smelling bath salt. It is Hawaiian ginger. I absolutely love this. Oh, Allie's trying to smell it, so let her be the judge. It smells like pretty, uh, smells like a pretty flower. Perfect. That's what we're aiming for. So this is the sea salt that we're going to use. Nothing expensive, but you know what? I like to gift it in one of these jars along with a body scrub. So this is what you're also gonna need, some kind of a bath salt or bath bead and a container to mix it in. I have a little bit of the mango uh, hibiscus left over from another project, so I am going to use the rest of this and add to it so I don't waste it. Um, another thing is the Starbucks lids. What I did last night was I went ahead and got ahead of it and just primed and spray painted them white. I'll either do them white or black, 
whatever I decide to do. But so go ahead and paint your lids and probably paint them before you do the mixing and pouring into your jars so you have the lids ready. And oh, that's my son Ray. Hi Ray. Hi Ray. He's on YouTube now. We're gonna pause and come right back. Alrighty, well let's get back to the project. That was my son Ray. He's off to get a haircut. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you how to take these labels off pretty easy. And I don't use a razor because these labels on the Starbucks Frappuccino bottles are adhered really, really well. And if you use a razor, it keeps cutting it and it ends up being a tumultuous, hideous job of trying to get these labels off. So I have figured out an easy way to do it. So let's get to that and let's get to finishing up this project. Alrighty, so the tool that I have found that works really good for this is like my Cricut scraper. I love this thing, works super good. You know what, I just take it and go to an edge and start pulling up one of the edges a little bit. And if you try to get the edge up all in one piece, um, you can very easily tear off the whole label. But I am promising you, if you try to use a razor, it does not work. And so I just got the whole sticker off in one piece. Thank you, Allie. And so now we'll do the back. You don't want the razor because as you're pushing on it, the razor's gonna cut it. So now we're gonna do the back. And there we go. So there's that. So now how I get all the sticky stuff off that is now left on here is, oh, Ellie's gonna help peel it off. Baby, it's okay. We're gonna get it off with this. Yeah. Okay, so now how I get all the sticky stuff off that is the sticky residue that's left over from the sticker is I use my ever so trusty Goo Gone and just a napkin. Super easy. Spray some on the napkin and scrub it off. Scrub it off. That's right. Put a little elbow work into it. Yeah, because it disappears good with that really good stuff. Good job. Well, and yeah. this has a lot of residue left on it. Those stickers are meant to stay on. Okay, so it looks like that side is completely done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then you'll see like the expiration date is on there in black. And when we sit down to embellish it, um, I'll just take a Q-tip with some nail polish remover and it comes right off. So then you have just a totally clean jar left. And I tell you, there is a lot of residue that is left on these jars from that sticky stuff. I mean, those labels are meant to stay on there. Alrighty, so I think that we have gotten all of the residue off of these jars. So I think that these jars are good to go. So next, what we're gonna do is go ahead and Mix the bath scrub with the salt and the, consi the consistency is completely up to you. Do you want it thicker or more runny? I like it on the thicker um, side, so it really is just up to you how thick or how runny you want it. So this part is where my trusty little helper Allison comes in and we will go ahead and start squirting some of the wash. And now Allison, if you could do your part and pour some salt in there. Can I pull some? Go, go ahead. Here, hold it this way, baby. There you go. And just pour away and we'll mix, mix, mix. Keep pouring. Okay, stop for a second. Let's see where we're at. Mommy's still. Did I? Yeah. Oopsie. That's okay. That's what the napkin's for, huh? Yeah. Okay, you maybe want to add a little bit more salt to it. It's a little bit too runny for my taste. A little more. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, perfect. There we go. Can I help? Sure, mix away. Alrighty, I think we're good with the mixing. Yeah, because because I did a pile right there. Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our glass, one of our containers. We're gonna put the funnel in it, and we are going to just fill up our container. Can I hold? Here, can can you hold the funnel for me? Ooh, hold the funnel real good. Good job. Hold it, don't let it tip over, okay? And it looks like we are going to be short some, so my trusty little helper is probably gonna have to help me mix some more scrub. Mama, I think we have to use a spoon with that because that is a huge spoon that for because that is a good spoon we can use. Well, I actually think we might be okay. Yep. Let's okay. see. I think we might have enough in here. Let's scrape what's left. Yeah, just a little bit more sand there. Just a little leftovers. A little leftovers? Yeah. Good job. See, look at that. And then we didn't waste what was left in there. Just a little bit of there. Alrighty. Hold on, let me see. Oh, look at that. Perfect amount. Hold on, let me see if there's sand in there. Nope, there wasn't. It. It's nope. all disappeared. Okay. So that's that for the body scrub. And we're just going to go ahead and put our lid on it. And look at that. We're already halfway to the project being done. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to put the bath salts. And there, Allie, could you be so kind as to hold the funnel again for me, please? Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, let's pour some in there. And I'm promising you this Calgon uh, bath salt smells so stinking good. Oh, my God, it smells good. Can I help? Here, go ahead. Gentle. love crafting this way because it gives me something to do. It gives Allie something to do. We're doing something together. Hold that funnel good. Whoa. Gotta hold it. You gotta hold it. Good job. Yeah, make it go down. And voila, look at that. The perfect amount again. Oh my god, those good like pretty flowers. Like pretty flowers. And there's the lid. And voila. We've got our two that are ready to embellish and take the expiration dates off. For this project, for the tags, I used my Cricut Cartridge Elegant Edges. This is by far one of my favorite cartridges ever. I use it quite often. This one in a walk in my garden, you'll hear me refer to quite often. But for today, it was just Elegant Edges. One of their um, framed flowers is the one I chose for the tag a while ago, and this is just what I use. I cut out lots of them. Whenever I'm gonna cut on my Cricut cutter, I kind of cut out more than I probably should because I like a variety and I like a selection. So next time I go to make these, I don't have to pull out the Cricut and cut everything up. I just already have it and I just can go through what I already have and pick what it is that I want to use, whatever color it may be. And so, yeah, you know, I right now it's spring, so I cut out a bunch of spring ones, but you know, if you want to make it a fancier one, you can do black and then I also cut out a page of circles to go in the center of my tag here so say you're doing the white you know you just kind of there you go so I went ahead and 
glued these on. I also cut out the same pattern of the flower because I like to put it on the top, the cap of my jars. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I didn't do the one. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on the top there, try to center it. And it just kind of ties it in with the tag a little bit and dresses up the cover a bit more. Okay, so with the tags, um, these tags I went ahead and printed up. I have a scrapbooking program that I use, and so I just made them on my own and off that scrapbooking program and then just cut them out and I also have a bunch of string today I'm gonna use yellow and green I already cut out two of them for this and I also have these adorable little clothes pins that I use to hold the tag onto the string and I have those in a bunch of colors and you just kind of pick whatever one you want you know today I'm going with white the other day I went with black and so with that on the tags you can put happy Mother's Day you can put happy birthday thinking of you you can put whatever it is you want today because it's for a birthday I don't really want to put happy birthday so I'm just gonna put something like smile I think I'm gonna put smile stamp on smile and you can never have too much happiness today. So that's what she's getting on her body scrub bottles. There we go. And let's do smile real quick. So now they are stamped ever so cutely and they are ready to be put on the jars. So let's just take the string, let's wrap the string around as many times as it'll go. I think it'll go like four times is what I cut for it. tie it but you want to tie this last one a little bit lower so it will hang there you go and then you can pull it lower down onto the neck of the bottle and then take your trusty little clothesline pin that and then this one is the scrub so we need to go ahead and glue that scrub on and I just use Mod Podge um, you know it's the same as glue really so let's just put some of that on there get it on the edges real good so it'll stick to the glass I try to put the napkin over it because I don't want, you know, it is only cardstock and I don't want it to get all funky from my fingers. And there you go, that looks pretty straight to me. And 
Let's just go ahead and do the bath salt too. And I always put the bottles next to each other so the labels, especially if you're giving it as a gift set, so the labels are even with each other. Not kind of one higher or one lower. Okay, there's that one. Let's put the string around this one now too. teenagers music. Sorry if you hear that. I think it's Kayla. Okay, there we go. Pull that down. There's that. Get our little clothespin. Get our tag. So stinking cute. I just love this idea and it's so simple. Look at that. And they're done. Super cute, super easy. What a cute gift to make somebody too. So try it. Post a picture of yours onto my YouTube and um, I'd love to see it. I'm on Pinterest too. If you guys like this video, like it subscribe to my channel and I promise you there'll be more videos coming and part two will be coming pretty soon and you will see another cool idea for using Starbucks Frappuccino jars as a cool crafting idea instead of throwing them away. Till the next video, take it easy everybody and I'll see you soon.